Today's world is moving fast. Through smartphones and other connected devices, technology and information flows throughout our lives every day with no signs of change. You, me, and over 2 billion people around the world have easy access to an instant encyclopedia, GPS, camera, and communication device without a second thought. This isn't a reality for quadriplegics and other people with disabilities that limit the use of their arms and hands. More than 1 million across North America. For them, independently accessing phones and other smart devices is nearly impossible. We wanted to help. So we came up with the design for a device that allows people with disabilities to use touchscreen devices and join us in the information age. Now, we're sharing this device with the world. That is how the LipSync was born. LipSync is a mouth-operated sip and puff smart device controller designed to mount to all types of wheelchairs. Meet Don, one of the first users of the LipSync. I started out using a sip and pop switch uh, that used Morse code to access the old AT and XT type computers 20, 25 years ago type of thing. Uh, probably early 90s, the JOS was developed so it could use the mouse at that point with the smartphones and uh, tablets and so forth. Uh, they really haven't been accessible to me at all, so so I haven't uh, haven't really been able to uh, to use them. So. So really, uh, it's exciting to uh, you know to see this technology coming along. Uh, it would be useful, I think, uh, you know, for me to be able to to you know have these devices, but I have to have other people use them for me. Uh, so you know, with the development of this uh, lip sync, I think uh, it will go a long way to uh, you know making it accessible for me to be able to use the tablet, so I can use them like you know like anybody else. We're making the lip sync an affordable solution by providing an open source design with an easy to build and source hardware assembly. There's a concept called the digital divide. And what is usually meant by that is for people that have to access the technology, they continue to have more opportunities, connection to community, economic opportunities, employment. For those without access to technology, they're further marginalized. So typically people with disabilities in general um, on the lower end of the social economic spectrum. So it's not have access to literally the technologists redefining the way all we live. Further marginalized people with disabilities. So we're hoping to kind of help close that gap through the solution. What we're trying to do is hook up um, actual users, um, quadriplegics, people that don't have mobility in their hands and arms, and with different makers so that they can have a really low cost, effective design. Um, and it can be built in approximately a weekend. So rather than $1,500, it might be something closer to $300, which is much more affordable for, for people in that situation where they don't have a lot of money coming in to, to support their different devices that they need. It's really neat in that it gets people engaged in the community of building and becoming makers themselves and learning the skills to, to do this. So um, I think it gives them a platform to move forward and make other accessibility devices. LipSync creates an easy and accessible way for quadriplegics to take advantage of all the tools smartphones and devices have to offer. To stay up to date with the LipSync project and get involved, sign up online at www.neilsquire.ca forward slash LipSync.